All right, welcome back to the channel. Throwing a little party, rented this house. Joseph and I are throwing a little party, and in this video, we want to talk about get your shit together. The truth about building an online business. All right, because at the end of the day, we gotta do some real talk. Exactly. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead end nine to five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money, and just enjoying life? No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. All right, what do you say? What, what, what do you say is the first point that most people get wrong? about building an online business. Yeah, most people think they kind of deserve it, you know? It's just like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah the entitlement. I, you know, like, I I mean, I kind of want it, so, and it's like this, I don't know, the sense of, yeah, like, uh, a victim victim mentality, you know? Like, yeah, yeah I don't know, why, why can I have it? You know, some people have it, probably they're like, drug dealers or they're doing something illegal or yeah, they yeah, have yeah. it or some, you know, some some excuse that they just tell themselves yeah i think the thing is look everybody wants to have freedom but nobody's willing to work for it is that, is that every so many people are living their nine to five life hating it commuting to their job every single day but they're not willing to step out of their comfort zone and take action. Yeah. And instead, they're willing to literally take their entire life, 30, 40, 50, 60 years of working in something that doesn't fulfill them, it doesn't make them excited, yeah. and doesn't even nearly give them the amount of freedom that they'd like to have, but yet they stay in their comfort zone because it's safe, because that's what everybody's doing. Yeah. And that's why you gotta get your SCH yeah. exclamation mark T together. Exactly, and always when I'm on when I'm on, uh, on the consultation calls, you know, with people that want to jump on our program or are thinking about it, uh, I yeah, I always tell them like, hey, why? Well, what has kept you so far from reaching those goals that they just told me? You know, they tell me their goals, and I'm asking, hey, what what has kept you so far from reaching them? And the thing I hear most often is because I procrastinated, uh -huh. because uh, I didn't have a mentor so far, I wasted time, I was, I, scared. I was scared, you know. Tried to figure it out myself, so it was always myself. the best guys. Yeah, exactly, you know, all these kind of things. And it's always the same, it's repeating, it's never something different, you know. And, and it's unnecessary, that's the most important part. It's unnecessary, it's unnecessary procrastination, it's unnecessary perfectionism, it's unnecessary to try to figure it out yourself. Yeah. I brought this earlier, would you, would you learn Kung Fu yourself? You know, yeah, imagine yeah. like, we, you and I, were, we're gonna learn Kung Fu now, we don't need a teacher. I saw it in the video. You yeah, yeah. I, 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 know, you know, like, I know you could YouTube channel, you know they, <laughs> Yeah, I know YouTube yeah, channel. I saw a Bruce Lee video where he has the nunchucks. He plays ping pong like that. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it like this. Yeah. It would be ridiculous to do it like that, right? But yeah. with business, everybody tries to figure it out themselves. But there's all these problems that if others have already overcome, yeah. right? They literally fix these problems for you. So it's absolutely unnecessary. I would, I would almost go so far to say because you're very you're very focused on your family you always talk about helping your family and your mom and dad which is really really great maybe it's you know your background is like really from a, like a loving supportive family yeah. and i always put it like this if you watch this right now you owe it to your family yeah right you owe it to your mom and dad are not going to get younger and or healthier they're only going to get older how much of a help can you be how much of a support can you be to your family if you're stuck in a nine to five job, you're barely making minimum wage or barely making enough money to just get by, how much of a support can you be for your mom and dad? Yeah, just imagine like your mom and dad, they put in 18, 20, 25 years of all dedicated to you, you know, like they fed you, they, they gave you a roof over your head, they, they, brought, you up, they yeah. brought you up, you know, uh, probably a lot of you guys got like a lot of love. I mean, just think about it, like yeah, this, yeah. all this unconditional love they, they, they gave you and now you're sitting there doing nothing with your life. Yeah, yeah. And, and here's the thing always, like some people say, oh, I could buy pretty well with my job. It's enough for me. Yeah. But I don't think that's where, where it should stop. I don't think, I think you got to start brightening your horizon a little bit and say, I don't only live for me, I live so well that I have more than enough for myself so I can give back to mom, give back to dad, my siblings, my extended family, even my future children. You know, you owe it to the, your family to really step up in life and be so secure, so safe that if something happens to your mom, something happens to your dad, you have a, a hospital bill, you gotta, you gotta pay for some sort of treatment, right? Yeah. And the insurance might not take it over. You can step in and say, I got this. Because I, I'm gonna be honest, and this, sound, this sounds extremely baggy. There's almost no problem in this world that cannot be fixed by throwing a large amount of money on it. Yeah. Literally, yeah, like, literally most throw money at it, most problems will be fixed. Exactly, exactly. And then, in my, I mean, in my personal case, uh, for me, like, my parents, they risked literally everything, didn't speak the language, went to Germany, you know. Uh, and I know out there are a lot of people where, 
where the parents also risk a lot, you know, where uh -huh. they, I mean, either way, like, even if they just normally brought you up, like, they spend so much time, so much love to, uh, yeah, to, to raise you. <laughs> and, yeah, and they're trying to screw around. And, and, yeah, and, then, and then you go ahead and, uh, yeah, and, and, and you just do nothing, you know, you don't, don't take action, you know, like, again, at the end of the day, uh, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family yeah. to, to take action yeah, and to, to just make it happen, you know? Absolutely, for absolutely. Me, for me, actually, also my family, when I, when I tried to make the first steps, they were even against it. They were like, hey, you know, stay safe. You know, we came here, we have this like safe country and everything. Yeah, yeah. And you need to believe in yourself that you can do more. And I know a lot of people out there know that deep inside of them that they can achieve more, but just afraid. Exactly, and that's that's a wonderful thing because a lot of people are afraid that they're not good enough, they're not perfect and stuff like that. I mean, we're, sh we're not shooting this perfectly either, I mean, they're screwing around with a real reflector here, we're trying to shoot, trying to shoot a video here, you know, but at the end of the day, no, nothing needs to be perfect. Yeah. How many videos have you watched of my channel just shot on my iPhone, you know? Yeah. And I love what you said there that, look, what is usually the talk that you're getting from your family and from your friends? Do they say, step up, build your own business, you got this! Or do they usually try to somehow drag you back into the bucket, you yeah. know? There's this analogy, like, you put 20 crabs into a bucket, one crab is gonna try to crawl out, what are the other crabs gonna do? Try to get that, that crab back in. Yeah, yeah. They try to put you, get you back down, but I love what you said there. They do it because they love you and they're scared of you, right? Because yeah. you're, you're, I think, I'm not a parent, not yet. At least not that I know. <laughs> you know, I think it's the amount that the amount of energy and love and time and devotion parents bring into bringing a, a person up, a child to become a real person, an yeah. adult, is so huge. Of course, your parents are want you are gonna want you to be safe, and they say, do your safe little five, nine to five job. Don't risk building the business. Yeah. We've put all this energy into you. We don't want we don't want to see you get hurt. And that is why, this is something that you really got to realize, some important point. Your friends and family try to drag you down because they care about you. Not because they're evil or they're, they don't want it for you. Maybe some friends are jealous, but at the end of the day, they love you and they care for you, right? And they want you to be safe. And they don't understand how to build a business. You, chances are high that your friends and family are working in a nine to five job. So for them, it's this other world is risky, right? Yeah. But for us, building a freedom business out of nothing, this, it's our daily bread and butter. That's all we do. Yeah. That's literally like, Every single day, even at parties, I'm like, I'm in contact with some of our clients. They ask me some questions and I'm like, this is how you do it. Like, you could wake me up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I could be out of my mind. I could wake up from a, from, from a nightmare. I'd be like, yeah, do this. Like, I would know instantly what you got to do. For me, it's the most normal thing in the world. And we talk about business all day. That's all we talk about. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a simple thing and it's not as risky as most people think. So you owe it to your friends. You owe it to your family. And I would almost say also, you owe it to you the experience. Yeah. You owe it to your experience in your life. Yeah, we, I mean, we talk about uh, simulation and live life like a game <laughs> so much, but at the end of the day, it's literally like that, you know? If you look back at your life at some point, you're 80 years old, like, what kind of life do you, would you want to look back to? You want to live a life, you want to look back to like, yeah, I always, I always played it safe, I had a safe job, you know, like, I did everything, what my parents told me, what my teachers told me, and whoa, <laughs> and uh, that's it, you know, like, is this the life you want to live? Or do you want to even say, yeah, I, I risk it a couple of times, you know, I went all in, yeah. maybe I even failed two, three times, yeah, maybe just... Who cares? It, who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Got to step up, yeah. grow up, you know, like... Exactly. At the end of the day, like, how much, like, is it really a great experience to go to your nine to five job every day to take the same train, the same metro, the same bus into the same office? Hello, Mr. So and so. Oh, good morning, Mr. I had, I worked in my fair share of nine to five jobs, and yeah. here was the funniest part. Every Friday we had, we called it casual Fridays. You could show up to the office and you didn't have to wear a tie. And everybody's oh, like, man. enjoy your casual Friday, Max. And I'm like, yeah, it's great, you know? And I had the <laughs> dress shirt and it was all, and I'm like, how? How bad does your life have to be yeah. to be excited about not having to wear a tie? I mean, work basically at work right now. I'm wearing, I literally put the shirt on to be in the video. That's all I, you know, yeah, like, like it's, it's, oh, whoo, it's, it's, I mean, like that, you can wear whatever you want. I work from my home. I, you know, sometimes I don't put on normal clothes all day yeah. if I don't step outside, you know, yeah. maybe for the delivery, food delivery, I'm like putting on clothes, but. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a very beautiful thing. How much of an experience is it if you're rotting away in your nine to five job, right? When was it, look, 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 get close a little bit, as close as the camera allows it. When was the last time you've woken up 
excited. And I'm not talking about excited because it was Friday or it was Saturday and you and your buddies are gonna go party day. When was the last time you woke up on a regular working day and you were like, boom shakalaka, let's go. Like, when, <laughs> that's how I think. <laughs> that's literally, if, if you take this boom shakalaka out and you put it out of context, it makes me look like a complete idiot. But I don't care. Like I literally wake up in the morning on a goddamn Monday and I'm like, Let's go. I sometimes I look at my watch and I'm like, oh, I only slept like six hours. I should sleep more because yeah. I should just get my eight and a half. But I'm too excited. I'm like, let's get up. Let's do it. like my brain starts with ideas. I start replying to my clients and I'm like, I should go back to sleep. When was the last time you woken up like that? When was the last time you woke up literally full of excitement, ready to crush it during the day? I don't know about you. Most people that I know they have a nine to five. They're like, oh, I'm tired. I'm dehydrated I'm like you know I'm like I can't focus I'm dirt and they're like these half dead zombies look around when you're when you're commuting in the metro or in a tram or in the bus like are people happy they're like let's go to work let's yeah. go no they're usually like dirt and it's like dirt and it's like pure like coping like yeah. have you seen alien 3 with Sigourney Weaver no. where they come into this like laboratory <laughs> and she's like mel melted into like an alien and she's like kill me like that's, that's how most people look like <laughs> and once again like for everybody out there this it's 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 out there it's possible yeah you know it's not it's yeah. not ad that's that hard you know it sounds yeah. like yeah I know everybody says it but once again it's it's not as hard mm -hmm. you know because there's, I know there's so many people watching they're like yeah I listen to this so many times and already the mentor I know kind of yeah but do it do it yeah you know do it you know step up, step up take take care of yourself take care of your family and how epic would it be to look uh, in yeah in your father's and your mother's eyes and just say you know what if you don't want to work anymore that's it you know I got you that's why I love working with you man yeah, yeah. you're just like you have such a sense for like family and for loyalty and stuff like that you know and and you know sometimes sometimes the sky is gonna be covered in clouds literally just like right now but at the end of the day, if you, if you hang in long enough, if you believe in what you can actually do, the sun is going to come back out eventually. And if I think back to my, I'm, I'm 30, I turned 30 yesterday, literally yesterday. And, and I had this moment before you guys came over where I just like introspectively went into myself and I'm like, how, how amazing has things been with me? And, and, and it, it was the, the, that's the absolute craziest thing, like no matter how much happened in my life I stuck through it and I said this is what I want to do and I don't give a goddamn what people throw at me what happens what's happening with the economy what friends are stabbing me in the back I don't care this is what I'm gonna do and I either make it work or I freaking die trying this and it has always worked out and I've had I've had a lot of you know this is social media what do I show I show the girls I show the party I show the homies right I show all the cool stuff but Sometimes there's really difficult things happening in my life, in everybody's life, in yours probably as well. But for me, it's always worked out. No matter what happened in my life, I look back at it a year later, I'm like, it worked out, it was meant to happen. And I don't think that's because karma or the universe or whatever, that, I don't believe in this crap. I think it's because I stuck to my purpose. I had my goal, I always have my goal, I will always have my goal, and I executed to it. And I always put it like this, world is tough, but it's fair. Only fair if you're willing to execute, if you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to feel uncomfortable, and most importantly, if you're willing to ask for help. Because you came here working together with me because you were humble enough to get started. I started building my own business because I was humble enough to ask my mentors for help. I wasn't arrogant saying, I'm gonna figure it out myself. I was at first. Never got any results until I started getting mentors. I love it when people comment below, they're like, you know, Max, why should we listen to your business advice? All you did was doing what the people told you to do. Your mentors, I'm like, yeah, that's the point. That like, that's the point. Yeah. I never reinvented the wheel. I never tried to execute anything. I literally just started executing the exact things that someone who is where I want to be told me to do. It's that simple. Should we step a little bit more into the light here? Does that look better if we step into the sunlight here? I like it. You're taller, you're gonna get more sunlight. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, go with the flow, jump on the trampoline, and that's it. What else do you have to, to say? That's it, that's it. Take your responsibility, um, go your own way, and at the end of the day, like, when you're gonna, yeah, when, you, when you're gonna go your own way, you're gonna find people that are with you, they're gonna, they're gonna be loyal with you, and give back to people that have been loyal to you in the past, which, aka your family. Yeah. And yeah. yeah.
Love that's, that. That's how you're gonna love that. How you're gonna crush it. You're the average of the five people you hang out with the most. If you're hanging out with a lot of nine to five people, I'm not saying these are bad people or anything. I have a lot of friends that are doing nine to five. But at the end of the day, you gotta step out of that circle, at least with one leg, and you gotta say, okay, I'm gonna surround myself with winners, surround myself with people that live the lifestyle that I want. Yeah. And I love the fact that I'm now as tall as you, finally. Finally! Yes! 172 centimeters. Now I'm a Chad as well. <laughs> Chad life. Chad, Chad life, man. So hang out with hang out with the right people. Hang out with people that are where you want to be. Learn from them. Get your S H exclamation mark T together and go get started, right? That's the dirty truth about building an online business. You have to be humble enough. You have to be willing to give back. You have to do it for your family, for your friends, for yourself, for your freedom, and for your experiences. And the moment you say this sounds great. I'm ready to get started. You can book a free consulting call with Joseph here, with me directly, with an expert from our team. All you have to do is click that link down in the description below. You think we're gonna put it in the description, right? Yeah, okay. Put that link down in the description below. You click on that, brings you to a page. At the bottom of that page, you find an application, all right? You can book a free consulting call. You fill out the application, it takes you two minutes to fill it out. And then you can book the exact date and time where you want us to help you, right? It's entirely for free. There's no hidden international cost whatsoever. So if you already have a skill, you wanna learn how to monetize it, that call is for you. Uh, if you already make some money with it, but you wanna do it properly, you wanna scale it, that call is for you. But even for the chance where you don't know what it is that you could be doing at all, you just like the idea of being free and being your own boss, but you don't know how to get started, you don't know what to offer, that call is especially for you. We can analyze your strengths. I mean, you're doing this all the time. Yeah. Uh, we can tell you what exact model fits well for you. We know we know the market by now. We've been working with hundreds of clients before. And uh, yeah, we can get you started. Yeah, exactly. Do it for yourself. Do it for your experiences. Do it for your friends and family. It's time to give back. It's time to step up first. Take care of yourself. And then you give back. And that's how it works, right? So talk to you very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go back to my trampoline. And bye-bye. Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video since I got my first client. And uh, before I joined FEM, I was going to the um, actually high school and I'm actually just 19 years old right now and now I just closed my first client and my second client actually just closed both of those clients that same day great thanks to Max for making this program available for us now I just feel that oh, I know what to do and I have a goal and um, I have a vision of what I want to be